Let me speak Teresa, first. can you close my door now that we're in this meeting, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law chapter 30A, section 18, this meeting of the Amherst Town Board of Assessors is being conducted by a remote participation. I um, uh, just want to make sure, I have to make sure that everybody is can hear and see us. Ken, Ken Hargreaves? Yes. Uh, Lee Hines? Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Liz Duffy? Yes. Okay. Can you hear us and see us? Yes. Okay. Um, I remind people the meeting is being recorded to the web and could be shown on Amherst Media or broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. I call the meeting to order. Um, I guess we start out, um, we should start out with um, following the agenda. We should start out with um, uh, reviewing the minutes from the last meeting of April 8th, 2021. Any uh, question, any additions, cor uh, corrections, um, any additions or corrections to the minutes from any of the members? Have you all had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. Yes. Okay. I move approval of those minutes for the April 8th, 2021 meeting of the Board of Assessors. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Then um, let's see. Um, <laughs> just looking. Um, uh, uh, looking at my agenda. Hang on a minute. Make public comments next, Rich. Well, yeah. I mean, um, uh, any is there anybody from the public? No, I don't see anybody. Okay. All right. Thank you. Lee, Lee is uh, is graciously hosting this. Um, so now let's um, um, hi there. I just wanted to say that I am a public attendee. That's all. Okay, and uh, I'm okay. Um, uh, are you are you here to make a, uh, to, uh, regarding one of the abatement applications? No, nope, this is a public attendee. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. Um, Liz, are could there you ask her Could you ask her to identify herself? I, you know, I, I don't know that we, I don't know that Wait, I Alicia, I Alicia, Alicia Duffy. We thought that yes. was you, Liz. No, no. She's going to be my technical advisor to hopefully improve my Zoom meetings going forward. <laughs> okay. She does so, it a lot for the dance school, so I'm asking for some help. Okay, so okay. So this is a family member, is that correct? Um, okay. She is my technical advisor. She does okay, this all right, a lot good. more than I do. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, now I think, uh, do, do you have any assessor, assessor updates, Liz, before we go to the um, real estate abatements? And I point out that Lee has about 90 minutes with us and then he's, he's going to be gone. I understand. Um, I just wanted to clarify something from our last meeting. Um, I did mention that um, I had not received a reply after I told you that we were going to send it out the survey for the residential exemption. I want to clarify that. Sean did send us a, um, a game plan, uh, but it's still a, a matter of what we're going to put into that survey. I think that's the only clarification we want to make sure. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that you know that um, Sean and uh, the uh, town manager, and I just lost you. I hope you can see me. Um, yes. And we can see and hear you. Good. Um, the town manager has is aware of our concerns, and uh, he and Sean are communicating as far as um, how to address this. One of the things that we were looking at is um, hiring temporary staff to help us with the excess uh, work when the, those surveys come in. So I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Liz, can I just build on that real quick? This is Sean. Please. Um, so yeah, after the last meeting, I sent all of you sort of the, um, the next steps for the residential exemption. And I know we, we couldn't discuss it offline. Um, and I don't know if we're going to discuss it here today, but if individually, any of you have any comments to please get them back to me, I think it would be good for us to discuss those a little bit more, um, before we act on them. Um, because I want to make sure that we're on that we're on the right track, uh, supporting the board. 
So again, if there's any comments, send them to me individually. If we can get that on, I don't know if there's room on this agenda, if not on a future agenda in the near future um, to discuss those steps in more detail, that would be great. Okay, we have a May 13th meeting. Would that be uh, a timely, um, would that be timely to discuss it then, Sean? So the only, uh, it could be, um, it really, you know, I don't think we want to send the survey out until we discuss those steps because the, those, again, if, if there are any changes or any comments on those steps, it could inform what questions you ask in the survey. Um, I know, one, for example, one of the um, one of the questions that came up at the last meeting was, you know, have we touched base with the town council to, um, to, to make sure we're on the right track? And so we haven't done that yet. We're, you know, that's part of the next, the plan in the next month or so is to do that. Um, and if depending on what responses we get back, that potentially could affect the survey. So again, sort of depends on when, how, how quickly you want to put the survey out there. If you're okay waiting until after that meeting to do the survey, then I think that would be fine. Okay. So what's, um, what's your email address? My email? Yes. It's uh, Mangano, my last name, S at AmherstMA.gov. And gentlemen, did you uh, did you see the email that Sean's referring to that had the schedule? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I've been focused in on the um, abatement applications for this meeting, so. Um, okay. Let's wait to May thirteenth. I think that works. Okay. okay. All Good. right. Thank you. Okay. So now I think we can move on to the um, abatement applications and have uh, Liz uh, lead us through it. I was going to suggest. And order to order to look at them in the order in which they were filed, and I arranged them in the order in which they were filed. Does that does that help at all, Liz? You know what? I made you a nice spreadsheet. I did it by name and I did it by address, thinking that you would be in either one okay, or well, the other. Okay, well we can do it in whatever order you want to do it. Liz. Do you want to take a minute and decide which one you would rather? Um, I have it in both name and address order. All right. So. I would just prefer that you lead us through them. And, but you would want to you would want to put those forms that you have them. in the order that we lead through them. So, um, is let's there any by, preference? Let's go by name. Let's okay. go by name. All right. Okay. okay. That's fine. Um, I do have a complete spreadsheet, and it has some notes on here and so forth. It has a lot of detail. It's a summary of what we have here. This is not confidential, and I can share this. Um, would you like me to share this with you? It gives you a summary by name. Um, and it is, one correction. Um, I do have a couple of follow-up things because um, Richard said that there was a few things that came in your packet that had some questions and I wanted to just address those first. So, um, sorry, sorry to interrupt Liz, but um, I appreciate that Alicia is here, but... <laughs> Oh, um, does she need to exit for, yeah, the, yeah. for the um, executive session? But we'd have no, to I, tell. No, I, I, I'm going to tell you, this is not executive session. If we don't want to use names, but we, I, I don't believe this is, uh, this is not executive session. These are not exemptions. These are abatements. And I believe right. this whole process has to be done in public. So we oh, refer okay. to properties, okay. but we're not dealing with personal finances. We're dealing with properties. Okay. So this is, this is distinguishable, I believe, from the exemption process which deals with people's finances and such, but so. That's true, this, but the form this, itself, this we cannot publish the form itself. The form itself is confidential because it does say on the top, this application is not open to the public inspection. Okay, but. So I cannot um, show the actual applications. Okay, um, uh, we're looking at. I'm okay to take a, I can take leave whenever is necessary. That's fine. Okay. okay, Alicia, Um, I'm just looking for your input so that you can possibly help me do better at this. I appreciate you popping in. No worries. I hope we have a great meeting. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah. I did um, actually reach out to our IT department, and they were able to tell me why my sound was cutting out. It was a noise cancellation system. Ah. So whenever a truck or something loud went by, it was a little on the high side as far as its filter. So it just simply cut out my voice. Right. Now, I'm going with the, the direct connect headset in hopes that we don't get any interruptions or otherwise uh, complications with hearing me. Can you hear me okay, though? 
Yeah. Excellent. Right. For a change. Yay. Um, so let me just bring this up. I have it separated by um, residential. That is my personal property. That's the only thing that's missing. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do a few clarifications just to make sure you, you understand what you got. Mr. Crowley at You know what? I, I, I'm going to ask that we refer to the properties. Oh, that's fine. Names. 25 okay. green leaves, unit 515. Okay. It did say initially that it was abated. It was not abated. The value should be 18700. Hang on, let me, I'm, I'm, although we can't show the applications, I'd like to be able to look at them. Certainly, please do. The reason this is different from the other applications you received last month for green, green leaves, this one has a two bedroom unit and the two bedroom units markedly have been going up. Uh, the one bedrooms have not been keeping pace with the two bedrooms. I had them separated by uh, approved and not a and denied so yeah so you're going to see it in your approved pile but it should be okay. to the denied i clarified that with david um and i wanted to make sure i clarified it with you and made what, that correction what number is it again um it didn't have a number on it but what address it is um, 20. 25 unit one unit 515 green leaves so this should be denied and there will be no adjustment in the value? There will be no adjustment to it. This is a two bedroom unit and the uh, market adjustment for two bedroom units um, was not seen in the, in the uh, statistics. Okay, so that is not granted, that is denied. That is denied, yes. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, Unsustan un unsubstantiated. Unsubstantiated. Um, so the, unsubstantiated. the notation at the bottom that says market adjusted, that's incorrect? That is un, that is incorrect. Um, that should be corrected to unsubstantiated two bedroom. Okay. okay. Um, and the, and the so value, we, to be clear, is 180,700? 180,700. Okay. So that, that's going to remain at that, at that valuation. It is. Okay. Um, so I guess we can approve these as we move along. All right. Yep. Gentlemen, you want to, anything you want to ask about that one? No. So um, can we approve our signatures on that denial? Second. All right. Ken, anything you want to ask? No. Okay. So, so that's it. So I move that we approve that denial for our signatures. There was um, a couple of other questions. I hope I'm not interrupting, but um, we had one question on Indian pipe. Wait a minute, what number, is that a number? That is number two, two Indian pipe. Yeah. Hang on. Lane, I should be specific. Yeah. Hang on. Yep, I got it. Unfortunately, my copy came with the numbers and unfortunately yours did not. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a question from which one of us? I believe you asked this question. To me, Richard. No, I, I didn't ask any questions about that one. Then, I, then we're good with that one. Well, let's, yeah, this one, let's this go one go was approved, right? Let's let's go go this one was yeah. amended, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I just However, ask? However, they go. didn't, I didn't go as far as they wanted us to go because um, the market that they paid for that particular property didn't substantiate any additional adjustments. There was a correction to an open porch that they had that was considered living area. So I did make some adjustments to this uh, adjustment to the style. It wasn't a Georgian. And um, they uh, did make a substantially lower purchase value, but it was a cash sale. Okay, so here, here's the problem we're having already, Liz, is that um, um, I, I assume that we're all talking about the same numbers. So yes. the abated value was 95,900. That's how much we took off. Yes. Okay. So, um, adjusted value 701,000, by the way, just for the record, this is 22 Indian pipeline. Right. So the adjusted value is 701,400. 
and then there are uh, then you've calculated assessed tax abated tax um, but there is no I see no um, no uh, CPA surcharges also abated I did not put those on there I didn't know that they were appropriate because they weren't on the form but I did notice David had put some of them on the green leaves I do have the CPA adjustment uh, the CPA original amount was 458 and 54 cents we reduced it $63.06, and the end result is $395.48 for their CPA. Okay, so the CPA numbers, okay, so we're not, we can't see them, but would you just read them? Um, I can actually bring this up. Um, the only thing is, is it has the names. Well, I, I'd write I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to just approve the yeah. um, this, uh, approve the um, abatement with the appropriate CPA surcharge abatement. Yeah, um, I am too. All right, you ready to do that, Ken? Yes. All right. So, can we move move to move the um, our signatures on the granting of this um, abatement in in the amount that the Liz is in the amounts that Liz has indicated? Second. So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, I'll, all those in favor of that abatement at 11 Indian Pipe Lane, a granted abatement. Okay. Uh, oh, hi. Okay. So we're moving along now. Excellent. Next one. Okay. Uh, was there a question on 51 Station Road? I had a question about it. Yes. That was one. Uh, let me okay. let me just bring up. Give me I a think that was the one I was saying that I have the numbers, but you said that there was short one. Was it the CPA numbers? Liz, if you just give me a chance to pull up the, the form so I can Please remember what it is. Take your time. I'm in your service. Yeah, I didn't have any numbers on this one either. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the one uh, 51 Station Road where the there were no um, abatement. There were no uh, numbers on the back of the form. Yes. I don't know why there wasn't. Was there even the disposition application? Was it blank? Because well, do I you have copies was, of the do you have copies of the forms, Liz? I do have the I do have the forms in front. Well, if my, my screen will keep it. cutting me out. Um, it, it I do have grand. the forms in front of me and um, I can certainly give you those numbers. It was granted with no numbers. I actually granted it and I did fill in the numbers. I do not know why it must have been a, a different because we made copies of these. Yes. So they must have copied. They must have done one of the ones that we copied that didn't have the numbers. And I apologize for that. Um, the actual assessment was 688,400. Mm -hmm. um, we did reduce it uh, to 605. That's 605,000. Okay, so that's a total number of? 80, 83,400 was the reduction. Okay. The tax was originally um, $15,020.89. The adjusted tax is 13,201. With an abated amount of one thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars and seventy nine cents. One thousand. One thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars and seventy nine cents. Okay, so that one will also need to get an abatement of the CPA surcharge. The CPA surcharge can... amount was three eighty six ninety three. Okay, but I'm gonna just uh, we're just gonna um, uh, allow you to calculate those and. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so and I will send you the um, the summary of the results, gentlemen, so that you'll be able to view them. Okay, but um, we're voting on we're voting on them now. So that's so, correct. Um, but when so you gentlemen, when you get questions? them at the follow up meeting, it'll actually say what address it is, because I want to make sure you have a little more information. I don't really like those summaries that come out of Munis. It, could, it right. could use a little more detail. Any questions about this one, gentlemen? Yeah. Oh, Mitch, can I can I say something real quick? Sure. So I just wanted to double check and make sure that if, so are these abatements that you are considering or ones that have already been granted? These no, are these are ones that we're granting today. Granting today. So, you know, Lee might be right that this should happen in an executive session until they are granted. Um, I just, you know, I want to be ultra careful on that. Um, you know, there's nobody in the attendees list as of right now, but, um, 
what, you know, we will, we will post it. I, I guess no. I would defer to what you guys have done in the past, but when I look at some of the stuff I've seen online, it looks like it should be an executive session until it's granted. Um, but the deliberation of applications and can be an executive session for I, applications for either exemption or abatement. I'm looking at, I, I look at the open meeting law and I don't see anything that, um, when, when we look at exemptions, we're talking about people's personal finances. That's, I think that's a it's different, very different. Mm -hmm. but I think we're talking about properties here. I think it has to be in open session. Um, yeah, I'll defer to the board. I just wanted to raise you know, it, you guys have done this for the past couple of years too. So I would just say, if you if you've done it this way in the past, that's the way I would continue yeah. doing it. Um, you know that, Red, you just say that we generally have, we've generally done these in the meeting room, and no one. I think we had one attendee once. Lee, do you remember? We had yeah, a, it was, yeah, it was one attendee. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I just and, and maybe before we post this um, Rich, video, we should we can get clarification just to confirm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would be a good idea. It's it's definitely very clear that nobody can see the application except for you and us. Mm -hmm. No, the public can't see the application. It's clear on that. Uh, none of yeah. that has been published. Yeah. So the question but, is, but I mean, I think Sean's raising a good question, which is because we're looking at applications that can't be disclosed. Does that does that take it into executive session? And I mm -hmm. just um, I'm I'm going I'm going on my sort of my understanding i've i've reviewed the open meeting law and i don't see that um that this falls in that category okay so the, oh, i'm sorry the various categories but you know i may i did make a call to the um attorney general about this um several weeks ago and got no recall back oh, okay well, well like i said strange. we can we can try to get clarification um just to make sure we do it uh, the, either reinforce the practice now, or if we need to make an adjustment, we can make an adjustment. Yeah, yeah I, that's wanna, great. I just want to do the right thing. Yeah. Just, just a clarification. If the board has any legal questions, I can also refer to the administration to reach out to our, our legal services um, so that they can follow up and, and check for, um, you know, whether it's under FOI. Um, I know in some places um, you can call FOI directly. They're very well, helpful. You know, I would just say that if we aren't doing abatements in public and we're not doing exemptions in public, we're not doing much of anything in public. So I know. You know, it's kind that, of what we do. That, that just doesn't really sound yeah, right it, to me. So my doesn't sense sound is, very open, does it? My yeah. sense is that these um, um, need to be done uh, referring to the property and not the property owners. That makes sense. Which is okay. what we're Liz, doing so far. Yeah. Liz, yes. one, one housekeeping thing for your office. Absolutely. These all of these need to be stamped when they come in. Were there we some have, that were not stamped? Like this one right yeah. now. Yeah. Which one are you looking at, please? The one we just uh, Indian Pipeline. Station. There was no stamp. Fifty one yeah. station. Oh, I'm sorry, fifty one station. Right. Yeah. Because you know, we only have three months to approve these. That's right. And um, this one. Did we get this via email? Well, it still needs to be stamped when it comes in your office. Okay, I agree with that. And yeah. um, okay. fortunately, um, I mean, a lot of these are stamped. Yeah, good. I hope all of them are stamped. Um, well, not well, they're not. well, they're not. No, yeah, there's one another one I'm looking at 472 North Pleasant. Because the rule is if it's not approved within three months, it's assumed to be denied. That's correct. Well, you know, um, I'm going to say that doesn't. Okay, if I could see that rule, I'd like to see it because that doesn't really make due process sense to me. You know, or you, you know, if the um, so I can send Rich, I can send it to you afterwards. Okay, all right. I know that we have. Yes, uh, it is three of, months. The there's time a of, ninety of day. Um, there's a ninety day um, limit yes. on uh, on notification after we've ruled. Oh no, there's ten days. Okay, there's all right. Ten days after we rule. Your your training is fresher than mine, so. No, I just looked it up in my book. This <laughs> All right. Thank God for guides. No. Need them all. They might be um, out of date, but. I, I do believe it came in in the month of February because it is dated February. Oh, I have our envelope. I have our envelope. Yes. Um, the exact date was February the 1st. Okay, same date you mm -hmm. signed it. Uh, oh, actually, it was entered in. It was posted February 1st, received by us February 3rd. 
Okay. So I do have it stamped. Let me turn off this background hider because it's not doing us any services when I'm trying to show you anything visual. Um, sorry about that. You get to see hey, my I'm messy sorry, office. I'm, I'm get, now I'm getting distracted. Have we, um, have we uh, ruled on Station Road yet? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And but we, just to clarify, we... the date of receipt was February 3rd. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Did we vote on, on those numbers on Station Road? Yes, yes we did. Those, right? Okay. Yes, right. we did. Um, I was going, and we, we did Indian Pipe, correct? Yeah. Okay. That was stamped correctly. Um, can we go on to alphabetical order by street then? Just tell us which one you want to look at. Yeah, just tell us. Okay. Um, well, there was a few that were denied. Um, do we want to go through those first? Sure. Um, yeah, they're probably more complicated. Um, well, they're. Bear with me a moment. Um, okay, so Blue Hills Avenue, uh, 30 Blue Hills Avenue appealed. Their assessment was 429.2. Okay, um, wait a minute. Let okay, us, which hang one on. Now? Let us give us a chance to pull the paperwork. <laughs> you okay. take your time and you tell me when you're ready. What, what's the address now? It's 30 Blue Hills Road. Okay, got it. I actually looked at some, pulled up some of these online to look at them today, at least the outside. And okay, I'm ready. I did physical inspections on everything sure. except for interiors on all the green leaves. I did do one interior inspection on a unit at green leaves, but I did not do all of them. I did exterior inspections, just so you know. Um, the first one, though, is Blue Hills Road, and Blue Hills Road um i went out there there was a few things that needed to be corrected and added to it not removed from it um i did um you know make some minor adjustments but because it actually increased the assessment and they paid 20 percent over the assessed value to purchase it in 2001 in april 2021 uh 2021 they uh, didn't warrant the reduction. However, they were comparing themselves to the other capes, capes that were in the uh, neighborhood, um, but those homes were not comparable. I also saw some adjustments that needed to be done to those homes. So I'll be doing a review of Blue Hills Road as part of our revaluation. Um, but I would recommend denying this application. So the assessed value, there was no adjustment. The assessed value was 429.2. Um, I recommend no adjustment to this property this year. Um, their purchase price was 520,900. So the references to other properties in the neighborhood you thought was unconvincing, is that correct? Uh, the, the reference that they made was to 115 Blue Hills. And while it, I think that that property needs to be corrected, overall, the comparison to like properties was not valid. They did actually um, have a warranted assessment. Any other questions, gentlemen? No. No. Okay. All right. Uh, I move that we, um, we approve this denial by the principal assessor. Yeah. Second. Uh, this is for 30 Blue Hills Road. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, housekeeping, Liz, just quickly. Yes. Do, you keep, do you keep notes that you inspected this somewhere else besides here? Um, I actually have them in the spreadsheet and I actually put them in the record. So okay, that just, if somebody okay. should come back again um, and uh, I, I will get to one of our commercials, actually, that has a few properties that will be revisiting that property, even though they appealed this year. Okay, but this this one you did inspect, you said, right? This I did inspect this one. They were very cordial. 
Okay, um, so there's no indication on here you did, but you said somewhere else you have it. I have a list of those and it says okay. when I inspected it. Okay, fine. Uh, the inspection <laughs> actually took place April 6th. And uh, they were, like I said, they were very cordial. They let me you know, do a full inside and exterior ex ins ex inspection. But the only thing I saw that was out of the ordinary is they have an extremely small garage and the floor needs to be replaced. But they put a whole new top on this house, making it from a cape into a colonial, and they renovated all of it. Thank you. No problem. Um, so are we, have we accepted that one? We did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go on to 263 Grantwood Drive. Is this a... Uh... Uh, denied or this is denied. Hang on a minute. Must be at the back. Okay, I'm I'm missing that. Okay, Anybody yeah. Else it, see that one? Yeah, it's it's um the owner lives at a, at Rocky Hill Road, so That's true. Yeah. It gets confusing when they live yeah. in town. Yeah. Okay, I'm not uh, Okay, let me see. It's Isaac um well, I can't no, you don't name want it. Yeah. Yeah. Um does any do the other the other two of you um see that one? Yes. No, I don't either. The owner lives at 103 Rocky Hill Road. Oh, okay, I've got it. <laughs> oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. This was a property that was bought out of foreclosure. It was completely gutted after water damage before it was sold. And uh, the owner has not allowed us entry. I recommend denying this property's uh, claim for uh, reduction. Uh, it is valued at three hundred and forty thousand, um, and you know just for the fact that I can't get in to see what they've done because they've completely renovated this home, and it is in a, a sought-after neighborhood. It's a lovely neighborhood. I did take pictures of the exterior of the home, other than mold, you know, off the back. You could use some power washing. Um, we usually don't adjust for that kind of thing. Um, it looks like it's got good bones. It's in great shape, it's sighted. And, uh, Did you actually talk to Mr. Chow? Mr. Chow has been communicating by phone and by email. I personally have not spoken to him. Um, staff has spoken to him. Um, we did encourage him to uh, send interior photographs or to uh, allow an interior, and he declined. I think he has tenants in there, and that's what it seemed like when I went by. Mm -hmm. This is an investment property. You mean like students? You can't speculate. Tenants, yeah, right. Okay. So it's unsubstantiated. All right, gentlemen. Uh, any other questions about that one? No. No. Nope. Uh, I move that we, we approve the denial by the principal assessor of that abatement application for, for 263 Grantwood Drive, Amherst. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Um, uh, aye. Approving our signatures on that aye. application. Okay. Move along. The, the next one is 500 West Street, Unit 19. Hang be on. a place of reference. 500 West Street is, a, is around Mission Canteen, Mount Holyoke Drive yeah. area. I yeah. know where it is. Okay. Um, there's been Hang many. On. Hang on. Hang sorry. On. Okay. Um, I think there is there more than one at this at this location. I think there might be. Maybe not. No, no I only had one. That's okay. the other one. I only had one for um, this, for West this is, Street. This is, this is tax bill number twenty six seventy three. It's Hanky. Whoever Hanky's well, the I, name. You know, I'm trying to stay out of the names. Okay. Yeah. Five hundred West Street. It is a condominium. Yeah. Liz is, it says, please see attachment. There was no attachment for me. 
Um, what she did is she sent pictures of the interior, and that's not something I can put out there for you. That's um, fine. It's a standard condominium. It, there wasn't anything that was extraordinary. <laughs> um, the the woman did, however, pro, you know, cooperate with that, and she pointed out one particular sale. She was trying to back into it using um, cost method. Uh, doing the price per square foot. Um, she was saying that uh, unit six had sold in 20 and that, uh, I'm sorry, October 28th of 20 for 240,000. And um, she said that she felt that that two bedroom for 240,000, um, she felt her, her particular property, which is a one bedroom bath and a half, um, should be lower than we currently have it. Um, I did more research on this property. We've had actually three sales since the revaluation, and it does support the value that we have on there. Okay. There are there other units that are literally identical in that complex, and they are they are assessed accordingly. The same. Okay. Any questions, gentlemen? No. Nope. No. All right. I move that we approve with our signatures the um, the denial of the application for 500 West Street, number 19. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Excellent. OK, moving along. Um, going up, we did Indian pipe. We did. Next one is 1055 Southeast Street. Hang on. This, Hang on. You tell me when you're ready. I, like I said, I'm here to help you. I've already gone through these a million times. Is, this, is, uh, um, this isn't a denial, is it? Um, no, no, this no. is granted. Uh, okay. Not necessarily granted to what she wanted, no. but I think that I came to a fair assessment. Um, I do expect this home will, will get some renovation in the future. Um, that is her goal, and it will bring it up to the value that we had, but at this point, um, it's really not there. I had difficulty finding this property. Oh, I did too, and I was glad that she was looking for me. I'll tell you where it is. Um, when you're in South Amherst, um, she, where Munson Library is, and the streets intersect, she is right in that intersection. <laughs> okay. She has a very short front yard, um, but she has an enormous cider barn that's attached to the house. It was sorry, built. Is this, this is across the street from the church, right? Um, it's right. It, if you were looking at the green, mm -hmm. where the intersection of uh, Southeast Street is with um, Shea Street, Shea's exactly. Mm -hmm. She's right in that 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 corner there. Um, her driveway is actually on. Uh, is it Middle? Yes. Yes. Her driveway is actually on Middle. Okay. Okay. So so facing the green. It's She's got traffic on three sides. Yeah, okay, know exactly yeah. which one. Yeah, yeah. I, although it's not always, you know, heavy, um, she mm -hmm. does get quite a bit of traffic on all three sides. And what I found with that particular home was um, it needs some repair. Mm -hmm. And I felt that, you know, it's a, it's a center uh, chimney colonial. Mm -hmm. um, the chimneys aren't working at this time. Um, it needs some foundation work, which is going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really thought that, uh, given the condition, I made a small adjustment to this house. Um, we had 499300 um, She did want me to go as low as, um, well, you can see it on that paper there. Mm -hmm. I this did not. This just changed ownership, right? Not too long it ago. It did. It yeah. did. She purchased yeah. it in July twenty second, twenty twenty. She says. 
Mm. Yes, and she paid 400000 for it. Mm -hmm. um, we had a value of this property at four ninety nine three. Mm -hmm. It was on the market for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. um, I did reduce it to four fifty five hundred. That reduced it forty eight thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, Liz, we're going to need you to um, add the CPA charges. That I don't think that has to be on the record, but the CPA surcharges also have to be abated. All of these CPA charges, um, I will abate, and I do have a spreadsheet to um, to share with you. Um, but okay, we had Fine. the so, systems go down. I was hoping to send it to you sooner. So, with the proviso that the CPA surcharges will be added to this, um, I move that we um, any 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 questions from my from the committee, no. from the board. Okay. Excellent. I move that we approve this of uh, the abatement on this uh, property, the abated abatement of forty eight thousand eight hundred dollars on one ten fifty five Southeast Street. Second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So I'm sorry. You actually looked at you looked at this property, Liz. I physically looked at this okay. property. Actually, I physically looked at it twice. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Okay, um, the next property I have is 128 State Street. Okay, this is in North Amherst. Correct. Was this approved or? This is a small adjustment. He wanted me to make a, a substantial, the couple wanted me to make a substantially higher adjustment. Um, 128 State Street. But I felt that Looking at the property, I mean, this is another one like Blue Hills, where there's a lot of Cape Cods, and they're defined by story height. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult because a lot of times folks look at the Cape Cods and they see only the front, and they'll see either it looks like their house or they don't look like their house, and then the back may have a full shed dormer or none at all. And when the gentleman was pointing out um, what he felt were comparables, um, I did look at them. And in some cases, it really needed to be uh, corrected, the comparables that he pointed out. In his case, he had an expanded attic. And I know that doesn't, that may not mean a lot to you, but in a Cape Cod, mm -hmm. the, the, the roof that's just like this, where it's just a gable, uh, it's considered an expanded attic. When they put the, full shed dormer on, that's when it goes up like this in the back, then it becomes three quarter story, or I'm sorry, half story, half story. So his went from being an expanded attic to a half story. Um, also, I added two wood decks and I did reduce his condition. I felt while the home was in good condition, I didn't feel it warranted excellent condition. So it, after I did all my adjustments, um, we reviewed the entire neighborhood. Stephen actually came with me. And it, it's much like Blue Hills. It needs to have a full evaluation of those, those homes that he had compared to. Um, I think many of them are, are uh, improved and maybe we didn't get the story heights quite right. Um, but I did take pictures that'll be happening for 2021, or I'm sorry, 2022. Um, okay. But, Yep. We we do have an assessment of five nineteen two. I reduced oh, it five 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 thousand dollars. That's that's three nineteen two. I'm sorry, three nineteen two. Um, reduced it five thousand to three fourteen two. Okay. The tax um, is uh, originally sixty nine sixty four ninety four. Was reduced 109 10 cents to make the adjusted tax 6855 and 84 cents. That's 6855 and 84 cents. So, once again, the CPA surcharges need to be added on to that. So, there's an abatement in the surcharge. Excellent. So, uh, sub and so, subject again to the proviso that those numbers will be added on um, to the to the to the assessors ruling on this any questions gentlemen no no okay 
I move that we um, grant the uh, abatement of $5,000 for the property at 128 State Street Amherst. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So we, our signatures will go on that, that application. Next one. Okay, and we went over 50, 51 Station Avenue earlier, so I'm gonna take that out of the mix. The next one we're moving to is um, 490 Middle. Hang on. For, approved or denied, Liz? Um, this was approved for a small reduction. I think I think we've been through the denials now. I think no, there's there's still some. Left. Oh, there's still some more. Okay. Yeah. But that's in the commercial. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And what was it? The address again was four ninety middle. Four nine zero middle. Oh. I did physically go out to this home. It's a brand new home. Um, Lee, you're doing a job up to us. I got it. Okay. Um, so 490 Middle Street has an assessed value. Well, let me just back up a little bit. This was a new purchase. It's a new home. Um, and I did go there with Stephen. I did run the comparables. It was a little high. So I, I felt that it it was in, in it could receive a slight adjustment. I, I, I reduced the grade on it um, from a AA to a A minus, double A minus. So it was at, uh, just a grade down. And it changed the assessment by $10,500. And the original assessment was 526,900. It's now reduced to 516,400 for a reduction of 10,500. The original tax was 11,496 and 96 cents. It was reduced $229 and 11 cents for an adjusted tax of 11,267 and 85 cents. And there's some CPA numbers there too, right? There are CPA numbers on this one. It's uh, David knew enough to put them on there. I unfortunately did not. Um, CPA originally was 280 and 73 cents. It was reduced to 273 and 83 cents. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. I think that's 83. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, any questions about this one? No. Um, I move that we um, grant the abate. And by the way, I just want to point out here on this one, the assessor abates it more than the person requested. Yes, I did. Just, just for the record on that, okay. Um, um, one of the reasons I did that is the, the taxpayer it should be within the realm of the sales ratio. Our sales ratio was 0.96. So if you take that sale price and multiply it times 0.96, um, you'll see it's a little high. Okay. So that's why that's not a, a large adjustment, but it was warranted. Okay, I move that we grant that abatement of $10,500 um, on the property at 490 Middle Street. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. I'm moving on to 10 Summer Street. I took I took a look at this one. It's 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 got an interesting location. It's got a heavy heavy traffic in that location. Um, it's a lovely home, but I've seen that um, interior. They've done some non-historical adjustments that uh, didn't didn't quite fit. I made some corrections to it um, initially. Let's see here, I think. And, and I and David actually helped me with this. We had a very good depreciation code on it, and we changed that to average. And. Uh, 
I think it was warranted. Um, this one was an assessment of 355.3. We reduced it 17,600 to an adjusted value of 337.7. The original taxes were 7,752.65 cents. We reduced it 384 and three cents. So the adjusted tax is now 73, 68, and 61 cents. So that one also needs a CPA surcharge abatement. Yes. All right. So subject to your calculating that and adding those numbers, I'm uh, any any questions from anybody from the, on the committee no. on the board? I do have those calculations should you require them. That's fine. I'm just I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to delegate the the math to you on the CPA surcharge, as long as you as long as it gets added on there. You you know it. I I never get past Teresa without doing the proper thing. <laughs> she keeps me she keeps me organized when it comes to doing those processes. When we get done with these, she is the one that actually data enters them into the billing system. All right. Okay. So I move that we uh, approve that abatement of. Seventeen thousand six hundred dollars plus the plus the abatement of the CPA surcharge Second. at um, ten Summer Street. Right. Second. All right. The last of the residential. All, those in, favor, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Aye, sorry. Um, the last residential is eleven Winston. This is in um, Echo Hill. There condominiums. I did do a personal visit on uh, March 24th. Uh, this property don't normally adjust for condominiums, but she had a finished basement that was not finished, so I had to correct that. Um, she, had she had electric heat, not gas heat, so I had to correct that. And she has some seasonal flooding due to some soil erosion outside of her, her unit. So it's, it's damaged it a little bit. So I felt um, a minor adjustment was in order for this particular unit. The original value was 225.6. I reduced it 8,300. The value now is 217.3, if you agree. The tax originally was $4,922.59. I reduced it to 181.1, I'm sorry, 181.11. And the adjusted tax is now $4,741.49. Okay, and uh, that one also gets a CPA surcharge that needs to be abated. Correct. So that, if, um, I think we'll, we'll just delegate to you to add the, those numbers. Um, glad to. Move, any questions about that one? 11 no. Court. No. All right. Um, I move that we approve the abatement um, uh, uh, recommended by the principal assessor at 11 Gwinston Court. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. The next section we're going to go to is the commercial, and I think we should probably do the denied as we did with the residential first, wouldn't you say, gentlemen? Okay. Now, three of these property are owned by the same conglomerate or the same uh, coalition is a family uh, group. Uh, it's the Gillen family. They have uh, 150 Faring Street under 150 Faring Street, LLC. I don't, um, I don't have we, that application. I'm sorry. But yeah. uh, um, gentlemen, do you have that 100 Fearing Street? Yes, 150 Fearing. Uh, uh, Teresa said to me that that was probably the situation with that one, that um, one of you would not get one because she right, so had I'm, two I'm copies. Of, of, I, I'm just going to stay out of this vote and let the two of you look at yeah. this one. Because I have two copies of it. That's probably why you didn't get one, Richard. That's right. That's that's what happened. I'm so sorry. I did push her. I really did. I'm so sorry. Um, the properties for, um, let's see, 
Did I say what we're going to do first? We're going to do the uh, Gillen's property at 150 Fairing. Okay. Do the two of you each have one? No. Yes. So glad to hear that. I have two. <laughs> uh, I can kind of talk to them all as, as the same kind of comment. Uh, basically, the vacancies that the Gillen family proposed uh, for reducing their value are can, affecting. Let, can we, can, let's just talk about, let's just refer to it as the owner. Okay, the owner. The okay. owner presented income and expense statements for the impact of COVID. And he has a 5% uh, vacancy that he's experiencing overall most of his properties. So, so let me let me just ask you a threshold question here. Certainly. Are you allowed to consider this for um, for property tax abatements? Oh yes, yes. If someone has substantial abate uh, some sub substantial um, uh, reduction in occupancy, okay. that's um, a, a, a change in its pro in its market value. Um, however, it has to be substantial enough to make it adjusted, and it has to be in the time frame for the period that we assess for 2021. Okay. All right. Unfortunately for this applicant, it won't affect this particular time period. Um, we did explain that to them. Um, I, as you know, I'm sending out income and expense to all commercial property owners, such as the such as this these property owners, um, to ask them what their income and expenses for both uh, 2020 and uh, 20, uh, 2019 so that we can see how COVID has impacted them. So it's the same reasoning for both. Um, there's um, actually three properties. Um, three, I know. Yeah, there's... Um, well, wait a minute. Let, let, let's talk about them one at a time. So the yeah, let's let's fairing. stick to one hundred and fifty fairing. It's under okay. uh, one, um, and it had a million two ninety one two hundred on that one. All right. So I'm not I'm not I'm not voting on this one. Two ninety one seven hundred, right? I have double check. Maybe I made a mistake. Yeah, it's two ninety one seven. Is what's yeah, on I, you know what? I typed it into my spreadsheet wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. I'll fix that right now. Well, I don't have any questions. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Okay, I vote to approve the denial. Okay. Lee? Okay. Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. So that's that's two signatures. That's correct. All right. I'm just going to make a note of that. And I do apologize, Richard. I really did think that we had it all together. Well, I think we may get a snag on um, the others. And, and now 409 Main. I'm just going to make a note here, just a second. Okay. Well, for the record, that's the, for the record, that property is the address is what? The property is 150. Faring Street. And the tax bill number is? Nine. I'm sorry, nine? Nine. Okay. All right. Okay, moving on. Um, the next property is... Main Street, 40, 401 to 40, 409 Main Street. And the tax bill number is? Tax bill number on this one is 2339. Now I have four copies of that application. Gentlemen, do you, do any of you see that? What, what's the address again? It's 401-409 Main Street. Okay. I got it. You got it? That's yep. great, because that makes a quorum. Lee? I have it. You do? Okay. Yeah. So I have four <laughs> copies, and you all have copies. 
It's the same 2339 is the tax bill. That's correct. Okay. Um, this is the same situation that applies. They got the 5% vacancy that they had mentioned on this properties. I did physically visit all these properties, by the way. I inspected them on uh, January 29th. And the, uh, the properties are um, really getting affected not by the previous years that go into making up fiscal 2021. Uh, it'll affect fiscal 2022 based on the COVID reductions. Liz, a general question on commercial sure. property. Yes. I mean, do they actually, if they're going along, say 100%, they drop down to 80%, so they can appeal for one year, and then the next year they go back up to 100, you readjust them back up? I can. I certainly can. It's not a long term type thing. No, it's a temporary situation. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, it'll be self-evident when things start selling, you know, um, if we ever get anything on the marketplace, because as you, if you've looked at LoopNet or any of the commercial um, ads for commercial, not much is in, available. So it's a tough market to, to, to discern here. Um, but we do, uh, when we get the income and expense, that's a usual telltale as to how the market's health is. Okay. So I and E is income and expense. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. I should uh -uh. be clear. Uh -huh. um, the assessment for this property is eight hundred sixty-three thousand eight hundred. Okay. No, I don't have that. That's not oh, I'm sorry. I no, I don't. I have one million four zero five seven hundred. What happened there? Yeah. Oh, I went to the other property. I'm sorry. I okay. jumped a line. One million four hundred five seven hundred exactly. Okay, so this is a denial. Yes. All right. Any questions, gentlemen? No. All right. I I, I move that we uh, approve the denial of, of this uh, abatement requested abatement at four hundred one four hundred nine Main Street, tax bill two two three three nine. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. I do have one more. It is uh, 24 to 26 South Prospect Street. Okay, I don't have that one. I have it. South Prospect? South Prospect I'm... Street. And you have that one? No. Uh, oh, you do. I don't know that. No, I don't have it. So we don't have a quorum for that one. No. Does anybody have it? I don't. I don't either. No. I know initially we thought it was a duplicate of one of them because they had it listed under the one of the names that was similar and it wasn't the right name. Okay. <laughs> So you don't have that one. Um, I, I can give you the details, uh, but it is part of that group. Um, it is that same type of building. It's at 24 to 26 South Prospect Street. Is this the same owner as the, the same previous owner, two? It's the same ownership group. They have a different LLC. Or in this case, it's a trust. You're recommending a denial on this? Yes, I am. It is okay. the same situation. So there's nothing about the property specifically that if this is really about the it's vacancy the same argument. Is that correct? It is exactly the same argument. Okay. Um, the impact is is to fiscal year 22, not fiscal year 21, and uh, they should, you know, receive an adjustment accordingly for fiscal 22. But for fiscal 21, um, they did not experience the reduction in that year. Okay, I'm going to move that we have sufficient information to rule on this one, given it's the same uh, set of facts regarding the property. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, me too. All right, so that's a second. Second. Um, so um, 
Uh, what's the tax bill number? Let's just to put, let's, let's put it on the record. What's the tax bill number? Let's see, I have the the unique ID number. Let me look it up for you. Did not have the. Tax, are 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 you able to look at the actual application? For um, for for this one, I thought it was in my file here, and I don't see it in my file here. I do know it came in. I personally took it in, but the the Gillens gave me a monster amount of paperwork. Let's see. I have a feeling it got stapled to one of the other applications, and I only asked them to copy the first page, the actual abatement application, not okay, all the. So support. do we have the address again? The address. This is twenty four to twenty six South Prospect Street. Okay. It's map fourteen A, parcel two eighteen. Okay, I think that's sufficient for us to vote on that. So That's I move that we uh, approve the denial of that um, um, application uh, for an abatement. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, I have one more denial. This one is at 668 Main Street, Unit 46. Tell me when you have it, gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. What tax bill is this? This is tax bill 1291. Okay, where I don't see this one either. This is Salem Place. I've got, got a six, bunch six, of Salem Place, but I don't have that one. I've got 664 Main Street. Nope, that's a different oh, one. Oh, I've got it. I've got it too. And don't be confused that you might think there's a duplicate. Uh, two of the applicants have the same last name. I don't have this one. Got it. I have it. Oh, I, there it is. Okay. Oh, thank good. goodness. Okay, so good. the three of you have it. Good. Yeah, that's good. Um, this particular property is a little different from the other commercial properties that we adjusted at Salem Place, and I, I felt that we should not adjust this particular one uh, because the reduction was unsupported by his appeal. This again is a vacancy similar to the other three that we denied vacancy due to COVID. And the uh, property is a standalone and he just bought it in 19 um, for 127.8. And our current value on it is 1101. Um, Stephen went out with me. I went out previous, um, but he went out to take some pictures as well. This is um, even enlarged. In 1999, this particular unit was enlarged. As it got a full shed dormer on it, as well as being a standalone building. It is not affected by the disrepair of the older home. That's completely different. Um, and it is owner occupied. Questions, gentlemen? No question. No. The assessment is 110,100. I recommend no reduction. Okay. I, um, I move that we approve that uh, denial of the requested abatement for 668 Main Street. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. Okay, I just want to point out that we're at 12.14 p.m. and we're up against Lee's uh, 12.30. We can keep on working, but I just want to make see if we can get as many of these in before Lee has to leave. Right, I think we you. can we can um, knock out an awful lot of these now um, because the rest of them. These are all approved, right? Or These are all approved. These were for the Salem Place. Um, there, there's just one that's a little unique. Mr. Um, Mr. Ralph Cohen. Uh, call me from California. Can we, can we stay away from the names, please? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, What's the address? The address is 664 Main Street, and it is Unit 54. 
His bill number is 1295. Okay. okay. I did a physical inspection on this property and the dimensions that we have on it did not match the dimensions um, of the, the camera, the, um, the plan or what I physically saw. Um, it also had some disrepair in this building that's going to affect the next few uh, appeals in that building. Um, I think that once they repair, uh, make those necessary repairs, it will increase the value. Um, but in Mr. Cohen's case, his dimensions were off quite a bit, actually. Uh, his initial value was 92.5. I reduced it 318 to 60,700. It is a second floor unit. And I will remind you that this building does not have an elevator. Okay. Um, I, I hate to admit I don't know this, but does a property like this get a CPA surcharge? It does. And the CPA surcharge is in my chart, but unfortunately I did not put it on this one. The others do have it. Okay, so we can so, so there's a surcharge that needs to also be abated on this property. Is that correct? That's correct. So that is correct. Delegate to you to calculate those numbers. Certainly. Um, any questions about this one, gentlemen? No. No. I move that we approve the abatement at uh, at 664 Main Street. What's its unit number? 50, unit number five four. Fifty four. Um, tax bill number twelve ninety five. Right. For uh, an abated abatement of thirty-one thousand eight hundred dollars, plus the CPA abatement. Second, do I have a second? Second. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you a minute to put those um, Salem Place that are remaining in order. Well, okay, I just want to point out that on uh, one of these, I got two different forms. I got two different assessor calculations for the, same, for the same bill or the same, I'm sorry, the same pair of bills. Maybe that's it. Is that for uh, what unit, sir? Units 57, 58. Okay, that's the same owner, but there are two different units. Okay. So there will be two different calculations. Is that right? There will be two different calculations right, for well, them. But we're, we're going to need to know which goes with which. I yeah. will certainly make that very clear. All right, let's start with Unit 60 at 664 Main Street. Well, okay. okay. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to start with 53. I'm sorry. I did say that we were going to go by uh, location. What's the tax bill number? Uh, the tax bill number for 53 is 4960. Okay. Okay. And that's unit number 63. 63. Okay. okay. This again got an adjustment for correcting square footage and uh, condition. Okay. No questions. No questions. Okay. And and the and the CPA numbers are on there on the back. Right. Yes, they are. All right. Um, uh, all those in favor of, of uh, applying our signatures to this um, adjustment for six sixty four Main Street Unit sixty three. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. The next unit on the agenda is. Um, 55, I believe. Okay, that's tax bill number 165. Yep, 1655 is the tax bill number. Okay. This is the same situation. We did correct the square footage and we did adjust the condition. Okay. I don't think I have that one. It's tax bill 1655. 664 Main Streets. Uh, oh, okay. I've got that one. Okay. Got it. Okay. So I, I'm, did you visit this these units, um, Liz? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. 
yeah, I physically went into these buildings. Um, and it's, it's one of those situations where the condominiums that were built later, they have to all vote on whether they do repairs and the older building is getting a little rough. Okay. I took some pictures of it. I can certainly show them to you. No, okay. that's all right. All right. Okay. So, and you've got the CPA numbers on here, the abated value. Yes. $1,900. Yes. All right. Um, any questions about this one? No. These are all in the same building. Gentlemen, uh, I move that we, um, we approve the um, abatement the principal assessor has recommended for 64 Main Street Suite 55. Second. Favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. The next one gets a little confusing because they have two units on the second floor. Um, 57 is the first one I'm going to do. And the application will say 57 and 58. So it looks yeah. like you're getting the same application twice. And I do apologize for that. Um, yeah. well, number 57 should have an assessed value of 22,300. Hang on a minute. Hang on. How much? 22,300. So if you look at the first figure she puts on the form, yeah. that's the number we're addressing. Okay. And which unit was that? This is unit 57. 57. Okay. And the other one is 58. Just to be okay. clear, that's tax bill 2465. This is 2465. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to circle that too, just so I don't mess up. Because they are different assessments. Right. Yeah, but she writes the same things on both of them. Okay. She does. Um, but in this particular yeah. case, um, we, we corrected the square footage and the condition as well. Okay. okay so let's let's get these first. First of all, 2465. Okay. Uh, is it assessed, assessed value of 22,300? The abated value is 900 recommended by the principal assessor. Yes. And then uh, the, 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 the assessed taxes and, and CPA charges flow from that. I move that we approve the abatement on tax bill 2465, unit 57 at 664 Main Street. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Now, we've got a second tax bill for that's for the other unit. That's unit 58. I, I'm assuming we'll live the direction that's tax bill number 2466. That's yes. correct. Uh, that's an assessed value of 37,200. Anything you want to say about that, Liz? It is the same exact situation. Um, and basically the um, square footage was adjusted and the condition was corrected. Okay, so the uh, abated value is $4,500. I move that we approve the abatement um, by the print recommended by the principal assessor for that unit. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Next property is uh, at 60 at 664 Main Street. Okay. Um, it is recommended to abate this unit, uh, corrected the square footage and condition. The assessment is 69,300. We reduced it 13,200 for an adjusted value of 56,100. Anything else you want to say about that? No. Uh, I can't think of anything more to okay. share. All right. Okay. So. Uh, I'm sorry. So are these, these are essentially offices, is that right? They're small offices, yes. Um, and they're, they were in a very well-known person's house. Um, um, if, you, if you go down Main Street from the town hall on the left-hand side, um, you'll see Salem Place condos. It's a very distinctive building. Yeah, it's a lovely building. It has the um, the lovely, um, is it Italianate? I kind of remember Second Empire uh, roof yeah. with the yeah. with the slate tile. So I yeah. hope they fix it up. I think it's going to yeah. be lovely when they finish. Yeah. Okay, I, have... I, move that, I move that we approve the abatement um, for. Um, uh, 664 Main Street, Suite 60, tax bill number 5802. The abatement uh, is 13,200 plus the associated CPA surcharge abatements. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Aye, that's unanimous. So Liz, I assume there are a bunch of other units that really do need to get downgraded. 
But you're going to wait for them to appeal. You can only you can only address the ones that appealed. Okay. So they will be adjusted accordingly for FY22. All the units that were not adjusted will be adjusted for 22. Correct. Even if they don't appeal. Okay. Just try and understand. Yeah. Okay, and the because assessors are not going to have to make up the revenue difference. I hope personally. Oh. <laughs> okay. One more. I'd to love go. to. I'd love to make everybody whole, but I don't okay. have the All means right. to do that. Okay. What's next? Um, I'm looking at the Roman Catholic um, Archbishop for um, the kiosk at 472 North Pleasant Street. Okay, uh, this is 472 North Pleasant. This is That's a, right. uh, as I understand, this is a tax exempt property. Not this particular one, believe it or not. The kiosk is the, next to the the church, essentially. Um, the, yeah, the kiosk was next to and behind um, a, a building, uh, but also it was leased by Bank of America. Mm -hmm. So because its use is not for educational or charitable purposes or religious purposes, it is taxable. Okay. So the lease terminated and they demolished the building prior to okay. January of 2021. The kiosk. It's leveled. It's now a volleyball field with okay. sand. Okay. So there's an abatement of the tax that was paid on that. It was assessed for $136,000 and I'm removing it all. Uh, the tax was $2,224.52 that is being removed. It also has the CPA on the application, $66.74 will also be removed. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't have a tax bill number on the front of the application. We have the tax bill number on that. I'm afraid I did not take the tax bill number on that, but I might have it here because I believe the archdiocese sent it to me. All right. Well, anyway, five, two, eight, one, five, two, eight, one. I'm going to jot it in okay. myself. I'm going to move that we approve the abatement on that, um, that property. Second. All, right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Richard, you did it. Well, are we done? Two minutes to go. I think yeah. so, because um, I believe you addressed Atkins and my, oh, Atkins and my optometrist. We don't have um, those. We don't, we don't have, have those. those. Darn it. But we can bring them up the next one. This is, this is house cleaning. All right. Uh, on the agenda, you've, li you've listed, um, on the agenda, you've listed personal property abatements. Do we have any of those? That's what these are. Okay. The and we have. These are housekeeping. Um, Atkins Fruit Bowl um, had a personal property, and as you know, Atkins was out of there as of January 2021. You mean um, north, the, the okay. location in North Amherst? The North uh, North Amherst location that was by the apartments. Uh, it's now provisions. But these are items that we can um, uh, uh, address on May 13th. Oh, uh, you can certainly. Okay. Um, but if we can address them now. Um, if they're they're mostly housekeeping. Uh, they're, they're not difficult, uh, but that's entirely up to you. I'm fine, Rich, if you want to address them now. Yeah. Okay. There's only right. three. Um, the first one is Atkins Fruit Bowl, and that is uh, 13, 113 Coles Road. Uh, the, the business had um, closed and moved out. Uh, prior to the fiscal year, the assessment is $16,600. The tax was $362.21. No CPA on these. So you're abating the full amount? Yes, I am. No questions. No questions. Move to approve that. Second. Excellent. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The next one is my eye doctor optometrist at 22 University Drive. Here again, he was out of the property before January 1st, and um, his assessment is $93,000. His tax is $2,029.26. So I'm sorry, this is a personal property assessment? That's right. It's for the furniture, fixtures, and equipment oh, okay. of a business. All right, and you, so you're looking to abate how much? $93,000. Okay. 
and its tax is $2,029.26. Okay. Any no questions? questions? No, no questions. Uh, move to approve that. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. I have one last one. This is Helios Incorporated, H E L I O S. Um, account number 114950. This property is exempt property due to the fact that it is a solar for residential. Had it been solar for commercial, I would still tax it, but because it is for residential, it is not. Yeah. It's an assessment of 58,800. Where, where is this? This property, it says it's in various homes. It's in various locations. You see the arrays that are on right on someone's home. Those are exempt. Those so are this not. is something they give you every year for the new homes? Yeah, they, they make application for it every year. And they, they do they list them. all the homes? Yeah. Oh, so you have a list of all the homes. That list all the homes, yeah. I didn't think you wanted to detail all the homes, though. No, I'm just trying to stole her. But I'm sure that they are residential homes that they listed. Okay. I, would put a, I wouldn't give it the, um, the approval. I, I wish we could see some paperwork on this, but. Yeah, I can put it off. That? Let's wait, wait on, on that. that. Yeah. Okay, so let's wait we're on gonna, that one. We're going to table that one to May, May 13th. And maybe, Liz, give us a little more education on solar, how they're taxed. You know what? I'd be glad to. It's it's been yeah. one of those things that goes back and forth with assessors, and maybe you might feel differently. Well, give us an education on the whole solar thing. Yeah. We can Absolutely. Get that on May thirteenth. Uh, any any other matters to bring before the board? None that I can think of. All right, I move to adjourn. Second. Excellent. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank gentlemen. You. Okay. Good job, a wonderful Mike. day. It's a beautiful yeah. day. Good yes, day. thank you very much. I'm yeah. doing my best and I promise to do better. Thank Hang you. in there, Liz. I got the technical going, at least <laughs> okay. we can hear All right. Me. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye, gentlemen. See you.